the former Erie Freight House used to sit on this site, which when we came along had been falling in on itself for, for 25 years. This site was leaching contaminants into the Buffalo River. So part of uh, the project here was the environmental cleanup. But if you look out here right now, you see people recreating, hanging out over here. Hard to believe that that would have been the case five years ago. So to where we are right now, the attention paid to the river, uh, the attention paid to how you treat the shoreline and, and what you do is, is a big difference. We have an incredible waterfront location here in Buffalo. Um, we have the Buffalo River, which we're sitting next to right now, which merges with Lake Erie at the head of the Niagara River. The problem is the majority of that waterfront for generations has been inaccessible to the community due to brownfields, due to pollution. So we've had entire generations that are raised who have never accessed or been able to even get on or touch the water in their own community. Through a hundred years of industrialization, you can imagine the amount of contamination that was put into the waterways and ultimately into the, the sediments. The Buffalo River was essentially a dead zone. In fact, the one quote that comes out of it was, it was mosaic of colors. The Buffalo River Area of Concern means that it used to be one of the most polluted hotspots in the Great Lakes. Having this designation is something that allowed us to access the resources and eventually the political will to, to make the improvements and to restore the waterway. The Great Lakes Restoration Initiative and the federal funds that were made available really were a big driver in helping us to get close to final delisting of this area of concern. The restoration requires the remediation of all of the old contaminated areas and once you've remediated, the next question is, what are you gonna do with that land? And these sites are now prepared and clean enough for new development to come in and go with the future economy of the city of Buffalo and Western New York. This is going to be restored to its former glory on to be a public market and public area. A small shops and restaurants, food market, public event space. A lot of the opportunities are in old industrial areas and are along the water. You know, that's a unique feature. Buffalo has it in abundance. We've had to scrape away all the, the remnants of industry that haven't treated it well. But now it's being seen as a very good place to locate your business if you depend upon people. We were really fortunate to be able to bring in the Tesla Corporation to build on the former Republic steel mill site. So along here now, there's a big entertainment facility over there, Buffalo River Works, bar, restaurant, boats, there's four boats that go out of there. There's a couple of parks along the Buffalo River which provide access to the water. Our whole perspective, the waterfront has changed as the river has been cleaned up. Seen Buffalo see its better days and have a bunch of disinvestment. We now see things coming back and people want to be here and people enjoying themselves is very satisfying. Ours was a 20 year overnight success with a combination of the investment that was happening for the restoration, this reawakening of our community as being a Great Lakes community. We're having an entire new generation that is finding this personal connection to their waterways and that does bode well for our water. It's a different attitude now, forced to change in our thinking, but we've done a good job in reclaiming the river if it can happen in Buffalo and the Buffalo River, I truly believe it can happen anywhere.